All right, guys, I'm just going to clear up a couple of the word problems for this week. Uh, first of all, you've got a box with no lid must be made with a square base and a volume of 1,000 cubic units. So the square base means that the length and the width should be the same. So something like that. But the height does not have to be the same. So if we do. We can make we can make the height quite large, or we can make the height very small. So that is not necessarily the same. So your your dimensions you've got x, and you've got x, and you've got maybe h for height, something like that. Okay, so that's the first thing to consider. Uh, the next thing is that we are going to we're we're considering the surface area for the bottom of the box the inside bottom of the box, the inside side of the box, but also and the inside of every side, but also the outside. So it's basically going to be double what you would normally expect. Right? So you've got your you got your box, you got your right hand side on the outside and you got your right hand side on the inside. So it's it's basically two times the right hand side. You got your back side and it's going to be the surface area is twice as much as if you're painting the inside and the outside of the box. Okay, so that's that's what this problem is asking. All right, question number two says Mr. Anderton wants to publish his own math textbooks. Company will do it for him if he pays $150 plus $15 per book. Okay, so we're trying to say that you know with the number of books, number of books. the price to produce these books. Okay, with zero books it's going to cost them $150. One book is going to cost them $150 plus $15, so $165. Two books is going to cost them $165, $180. Okay, three books will cost them $195. It's $15 per book. Okay, he decides it'll be worth it. Well, that means like for one book, it costs him $165. But for two books, it doesn't cost him $165 each. It only costs $90 each. And so it's actually a better deal. So that's your price. This is your price per book. Right? And he wants to know how many books he should produce to make it worth it if he can do it for less than $40 each. Well, Zero books for 150 bucks is obviously no good. Uh, one book for 165 bucks, well, that's not less than forty dollars each, right? Two bucks for this is ninety dollars each. So we want to know uh, how many books should he produce to make it worthwhile for him? And he knows worthwhile for him means it's got to be less than forty dollars a book. Uh, and then there's a follow-up question saying if he produces a very large number of books, how much will it cost him per book? Uh, now this, of course you could do it with the table of values, but I'm hoping you guys can do this algebraically um, using the tools that you learned this, this last couple of weeks. Okay, for number three, Miss Curry is going on a three-hour canoe trip. That's pretty important. It's a three-hour canoe trip along a river in still water. She paddles at 12 kilometers an hour in still water. Okay, that means with the current, she's either going to go faster or slower. Downstream, she'll go faster. Upstream, she'll go slower. She plans on traveling downstream for a distance of 10 kilometers, then turning around and paddling back as far as she can go in the time remaining. That doesn't. So if she goes 10 kilometers this way, 10 kilometers, and she paddles at 12 kilometers an hour in still water, well, it kind of depends on the current as to how long it takes her to get there. I mean, if it takes 1.5 hours to get there, well then I doubt she's going to make it back in 1.5 hours because now she's paddling against the current, right? So she won't make it back on time. So what is that current that you need that would be there so that she can paddle all the way there and paddle all the way back? What is the current that you would need so she could paddle all the way there 10 kilometers? and then paddle farther.
back. What is the current, and now this is the question we're actually asking, what is the current, so she says she measures the speed of the current and realizes that she won't make it back all the way where she started. How fast is that current? How fast is the current so that when she paddles, it takes her a certain amount of time to get to 10 kilometers, and then after three hours, she doesn't quite make it back, right? Well, it doesn't say doesn't quite. Maybe she doesn't make it. Maybe she's not even close, right? So what are the different currents that will stop her from making it all the way back? All right, lastly, we have John Paul and Kim are making a rectangular pizza that they will slice into equally sized rectangular pieces, right? Uh, so John Paul only likes pieces that are, have the crust attached, the outside edge pieces, and Kim only likes the pieces that do not have the crust attached. They both want to eat the same number of pieces. How many slices will there be um, to make that possible? Okay, so what they're going to do, they're going to make a rectangular pizza and they're just going to make cuts. Okay, so I'm going to cut it like, in, now they have to cut it evenly. Okay, so cut it, so hopefully they'll cut it so that um, they're all the exact same size, but you know, those, we get the idea here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it looks like 22 slices have crust here. And let's see if the same amount does not have crust. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty slices. Don't have crust. Okay, so I did not cut the right number of slices because they're not going to have the same number of pieces, okay? We want them to have the same number of pieces, so this is no good. I want you guys to find what would be good. Um, is, it, is it even possible? Um, is there more than one way? Are there infinite different ways? Okay, what, how many ex exactly, how can I cut this pizza? All right, that'll do it for this video, and I hope it helps you guys. Take care.